Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's Eddie. And I'm going to talk to you about something very important that can be or might be of your interest. And this is immigration on how you can get your documents and appointments fast. Yes, it is a fast service process. And this is through an online immigration government website. And I'm going to share with you all the details and information. It is safe and the service is fast. My sister, who has a tax service business in the state of Texas, in Port Arthur, she does income taxes real estate and also helps her customers and clients with their immigration needs by using this immigration online website, which is safe and secure. The immigration online customer service and their services are fast. Her customers always want their documents and appointments fast. And my sister's name is Mary gave me the name of the website so I can help people that I know with their immigration appointments and documents needs so they can get them fast. And yes, it is a fast process, very easy. Now, the name of the website is, if in case you're interested in visiting the site or the website to know more about it or to learn more about it, and if you're interested in opening an account or creating an account, your immigration needs online. The name of the website is www.uscis dot g o v and i will also have it written down in the description box below now instead use this immigration online website and it will be a fast process Submit it online. Once you submit your application online, immigration will receive it right away. This is how fast it is. And they will review it shortly to do the process. To open an account or create an account, creation online will require. You will need the following, you will need a user's name, a password, an email, and also five security 
questions. Now, make sure that all this information, such as user's name, password, email, and security questions, you have them written down, notebook, or a piece of paper once the website accepts it. And make sure that you place this information in a secure play for your security and this is because just in case you forget your any of this information you can always go back and get your notebook or the piece of paper and see what the user's name is or the information you need so you can be able to log in your immigration account email to get to let them know that you need your user's name also you can also do this with your password but the password, if you then you have to submit your email and you will have to reset your password, which means you will have to create or come up with a new password and submit it to immigration. This is how easy it is. The user's name. You will have to come up with the user's name. Now there's millions of people in the world that have a line accounts with users names. Now, if you have a user's name and you type it in and you submit it and the, uh, the website did not accept it but declined it, you have to come up with the new user's name until it will say accepted. If it declined it, then it will indicate it with red if it accepts your user's name, it will indicate it in green. If it did not accept it but declined it, it will indicate to you in red until the website accepts your user's name. Now, what is a user's name? It can be a word with one or two numbers or letters with one or two numbers. And what I mean by that is that you need to have, for instance, Characters are the amount of letters and numbers you will have to have. Let's say they need eight characters. So you will have to come up with a word that has six letters and then two numbers. That is eight characters. Now you have to come up with a password regarding the email if you have an email good if not you have to create one and I can give you the names of the places where you can create one or you can come up with your own it can be at gmail.com or yahoo.com once you have this email good you're ready to go yes you're ready to go now, that email is very important because you have to submit it to immigration in case they need to send you information regarding your application and also because you need to submit it for security codes. And the security codes are that you need to enter these numbers in the security box in your account. Once it accepts the code, the website will let you go to the next page where your account is and where your application is. And this is because once the website accepts the code, now you can see all your information. If it declines it, that means that you cannot see, it will not, it will not let you go into the next page where your account is and your application. And this is for your security. This is how well Immigration is protecting their customers and clients. How secure this online immigration government website is. They are 100% secure. They want to protect their customers and clients from fraud, scam, or any wrongdoing. Now, say that the website declined your security code or it failed you have to resubmit your email to get a new security code. 
yes, you can get them in seconds or minute. All you have to do, submit your email, look in your email inbox to see if you have an immigration email. If you do, that means it might be your security code. You can use your computer mouse to copy and then paste the security code right in the website. Yes, right in the website box, then submit it and see, and if it works, good. Or you can write the security code down on a piece of paper, enter it, or type it in and then submit it. And if it worked, good. And this is another way that immigration will protect you. Now, once you log in your account, the website will also provide you with five security questions. Each box has different questions. For each box, you have to choose a different question. And you have to answer those questions. Now, once you're ready to submit your questions, you can submit them. Now, what are the security questions for? Well, let's say that all of a sudden, you're trying to log in or you're logging in your account after several attempts, your account has been locked by immigration because they might think that there's someone trying to log in your account and they can do, and it has failed. Now, if this happens, it's because Immigration is trying to protect you from fraud or scam or any wrongdoing, so they have locked your account out. This might happen. So, in order for you to be able to log in your immigration account, you have to submit your email so they can send you security questions so you can answer them. And if you answer them correct, then immigration will let you log in your account. If your security questions were answered incorrect, immigration will not let you log in your account. If immigration approves it, good. They will let you in your account. If they decline it, then you cannot log in. Now, immigration can send you new questions or you have to resubmit your email to get other questions. And if you get them right, then they will log you in. If not, they will decline it. Now this means that if this happens again, that you are unable to log in or you, that you have the incorrect questions incorrectly answered, then this means that you might have to call immigration for assistance. And this is how secure this online website is. Now, regarding your application. Once you submit your security code and it accepts it, it will take you to this page where your account is. And there's gonna be your application. To the application, there are several pages. The application is very simple, basic questions, personal questions that you have to answer. And it's based on your name, phone number, street, social, all that. Yes, this is basically what immigration will ask you regarding the application and there are just real easy and basic questions regarding your name, your address, phone, yes, your phone number, email, all those, social security, all that information. Now, regarding the questions, make sure you take your time Read each question carefully and answer those questions to your best. Make sure that for each question, you have the words typed in correctly, that there are no misspelled words, that you answer the question correctly, and if there is a mistake, correct it. Now, you want to make sure that other questions are correct, no misspelled words, and all the question boxes are filled in. You wanna make sure of this because if you submit the application to immigration, 
Then what will happen if a representative, while reviewing your application, finds an error, a mistake, or unfilled boxes, which means you did not answer, the representative will hold your application until somebody gets in touch with you to fix the problem. And this will take your application longer to process and you want to avoid that because you want to get your appointments and documents fast. So you want to make sure that your application is ready to go with no mistakes and if there is, correct them and no unfilled boxes. Every single box, every single question with all those boxes, you have to fill them in, okay? Now, there is a question where it says regarding who is helping you fill out your immigration application. Even if somebody's helping you fill out the application, you want to indicate them that you are the one filling out the application. And the reason is because somebody might be helping you fill the application because there is a lot of people that do not understand or speak the language English. So even if this is the case, you want to make sure that you indicate that it's you filling out the application and that's it. And if you do need assistance, you can just take a person to immigration to assist you with your needs. Now, regarding your application, you can have a family member or a person in their business, relative or a friend, help you. And this is how simple it is. All you have to do is take your time. Once you're done with your application, before you submit it, don't submit it, but make sure that you go to the beginning of your application and make sure that you see all the questions, make sure, read the questions, you see all the answers, make sure that all the answers are correct, that everything's correct, everything's typed correctly. If there is a misspelled word, make sure you correct it. Make sure that every question is answered. Make sure that all the boxes are filled in. Make sure that you don't leave no boxes empty. Now, once you think your application is ready to go and ready to be submitted, submit your application online, it will indicate on the screen that immigration has received your application and a representative will review it shortly. That is in process. Now, it will also give you a confirmation number. Make sure you write that confirmation number down or you take a screenshot or make copies of that confirmation number and also your payment for evidence and your records. When the payment comes, you have to pay with a credit card. And on the screen, it will show you immigration will have a, the fee right on the screen where you're going to make a payment. The fee they're charging you, you have to pay with a credit card. Make sure that all the information from your credit card is typed in correctly. Once you have completed all this information, you can just log out. And then you can just go back and log into your account, do the same process with the security code and see if you've got any emails from immigration. And right on your account, there will be a message box where it will indicate if you have messages or not. Make sure if there is any messages from, from immigration, make sure you read them and you answer them if they need your assistance and contact them immediately just in case they need something from you. Then all you have to do is just log out, then go into your email box and see if you have any immigration email, and, and if there is, do the same process. All you do is just wait until immigration sends you a letter regarding 
your appointment. Make sure that you read it, see the date, the time. You put it in a place where you're going to see it and not forget because you want to make sure you be there on that day and on that time and you do not miss that appointment. Because if you do, then there's a problem. <laughs> so you want to make sure that you do not miss your appointment. Make sure that you go on that date. Make sure you go get there on time or way before because this is your responsibility, your needs, and you do not want to make immigration wait. You do not want to have a representative from immigration wait because this is, they're going to see that you are responsible and for your needs. So this is your responsibility. Now, if there is traffic or you might think there's traffic or something wrong, make sure that you leave way early so you can get there on time or before. And if you get there before, that they can have you in the office. Yes, there is a probability that if you're going in and that you are there way early, then they can decide to have you in the room for an interview, being interviewed faster. And this is best for you. And also, once you're done with the interview, they can just say that in a couple of days, they will send you a letter with your documents. Once you receive your documents, this is it. This is how fast this process is. You will get your documents fast. This shows you how fast immigration services are and all the protection that they're giving their customers and clients on the online immigration website. Now, I wanted to share with you all these details and information regarding this online immigration government website. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment box below and I'll do my best to answer you back. If you saw value and like video, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.